Well, in response to several viewers who asked me, are there enough EV chargers out there? I go out and have a look, and look what we found. These are 12 GridServe 350 kilowatt chargers, absolutely deserted. And this is the M6. We're here at Lancaster, just over there, Lancaster. And this is a very popular route. Absolutely deserted, yet down the road, there are two Tesla superchargers. One of them is open to all, one is Tesla only, and both of those are absolutely totally full at this moment in time. So what could be the reason? Could it be anything to do with the fact that these are 79p with a pitiful 5% discount ending at the end of November, and those down there are 42p? <laughs> Let me guess. I'm Dave, this is Dave Takes It On. Well, regular viewers will remember that we were at this site not that long ago, probably, what, three, four, five months ago, something like that, when they were under construction. They were all fenced off. And it was a, it was an oasis in the middle of nothing because up until that point, the one down the road, Walton Summit, hadn't opened. This one hadn't opened. There was almost nothing from uh, somewhere down as far as Trentham Gardens in Stoke right the way up to Gretna Green, and that was your choice. So this was much needed. So there was a lot of interest in this one. We followed this one, we've looked at the services. They're undergoing also a bit of a renovation. And this was hailed as uh, one of GridServe's best sites. This is gonna be a very busy site. But here we are, it's a Wednesday morning, uh, sun's shining, and uh, up until 30 seconds ago, there was no one here. And now we've got one car. And that is really a bit of a shock to the system for GridServe because I think they anticipated this would be worth, um, worth in investing in a charger here, 12 350 kilowatt chargers, because of the amount of passing traffic. So what's actually gone wrong? So one of the reasons we're talking about this one being relatively deserted is that about six, seven miles down the road is Walton Summit. This is a Tesla supercharger open to all. Uh, and it's got the V4 chargers. There are 15 bays there uh, outside the Holiday Inn Hotel. And we did a separate video on that with the facilities there. So very popular locations. Being so close, and being open to all, that means you can pull in. You don't need any membership. You don't need any apps. You don't need anything. You could pull in here, use contactless. You could pull into the Walton Summit, the Tesla one, and use contactless. They are absolutely the same. There is no difference. Two things that will stand out though. These are 350 kilowatts. The V4s are 250 kilowatts. However, the vast majority of cars can't get anywhere near 200 kilowatts, so either of these will give you the same power when you're charging your car, unless you've got something like a Porsche Taycan or an Audi G, uh, Audi 6 uh, Fastback Sportback, uh, and they can go a little bit further, possibly Hyundai. Um, so that's that. The other huge thing that uh, nobody's talking about is that these are 79 pence. Uh, we keep getting, oh, there we go tap the app for 5% back. Uh, if you uh, use the app, the uh, GridServe app, you get 5% off, uh, but the list price is 79 pence. Just down the road at the Tesla supercharger, Walton Summit, open to all, it's 42 pence currently. Non-member, just pull in, contactless and swipe. If you join as a member, that drops to 34p. 34p is under half price, even with the 5% discount. There's a huge difference. Now, when we arrived, we were here for quite some time. We did have a breakfast here, and this place was absolutely deserted. Obviously, as soon as we start filming and saying the charger is deserted, uh, we get a couple of cars pulled in. However, that doesn't change the fact that there are 12 bays here, and in the last hour, three of them have been used. That's it. Yet the Tesla supercharger, uh, next one down at uh, Charlotte Richards, uh, there's uh, 15 uh, chargers there, they're v V2s. Uh, there's only four or five of those available, and Walton Summit is showing zero available. So it's not for lack of traffic, 
if you get your right supercharger, your right charger location, and you get the right price, people will stop here. So why would this be a good site for GridServe? Uh, it is actually a good location. If you're heading from Scotland, that's north, uh, heading from Scotland, heading back down to Manchester or the Midlands or down into the southeast, this is a good stop. You'll get here from uh, Glasgow or Edinburgh quite comfortably in many cars, uh, top up here, and then you're well on your way down and probably one more stop somewhere on the way down. Uh, and when they were building this one, the Tesla supercharger at Walton Summit hadn't been built, hadn't been opened. Uh, so, so GridServe effectively had a monopoly all the way from the Scottish border on the motorway right down and the nearest one which is open to all was uh, Trentham Gardens. That's it, that's a long, long way. There are a couple of other charges which are Tesla only, uh, but the, we know about them, they're a different subject altogether. We're talking here about ordinary cars. So that car, for example, that one could quite happily uh, go into the Tesla uh, open to all supercharger at Walton Summit and pay 42 pence right now instead of 79 pence minus 5%. So it just makes me wonder why someone would stop here when you've got that choice now. If it's because they're heading north, they must have driven past Walton Summit. So they've driven past the supercharger, open to all, which charges 42 pence, and they've come here where it's 79 pence. If it's because they didn't need to charge uh, when they went past uh, Walton Summit, the next one up, it's about 70 mile up the road, well within range for most cars, uh, and that's Gretna Green. And up there, there are three Tesla superchargers and two of them are open to all. And prices again, round about 42 pence. So what grid servers found, and he finds this in a lot of locations, is that when they put in for planning permission, get the, get the leases and whatever else they're doing, they've got a monopoly, and this is great for them. The trouble is, the rest of the world moves on. So while they've been building this one, and this did take a little while to build, uh, while they've been building this, Gretna Green has added something like 30 Tesla superchargers open to all, and Walton Summit 15 superchargers open to all. So all of a sudden, this one now is a bit of an outlier for GridServe. Now, there will be some cars that will come here. For example, GridServe, if you do a leasing deal or if you do a salary sacrifice deal, with your car, you get, I think it's three months or six months, totally free charging. So you will occasionally see Teslas here charging up at a grid serve and doesn't make sense at first. But when you go and talk to them, it's because they've got a brand new car, they've leased it through grid serve uh, and they've got this three or six months totally free charging period. So they will be using that or probably better to say abusing that system <laughs> because all they're gonna do is charge here for X number of months, totally free, and then they're gonna nip down the road and use the uh, Walton Summit or go up the road to the uh, Gretna Green. So there's a, a, a big upheaval at the moment and it's coming down to price. And I know a lot of you say, where's this price war you keep on talking about? It's actually happening in the background. Up until Tesla came on the scene with Open to All, GridServe never gave any discounts at all. They talked about it. I was down at GridServe uh, Braintree uh, about 18 months ago, and then they were talking about uh, having a membership and talking about having an app, a uh, lot of things they were talking about, but they were also talking about opening up in competition to Tesla, and they anticipated that the price that Tesla would be charging when they opened up to everyone would be very much closer to what they're actually charging now. One of the figures quoted was they thought the difference might be only as little as 10 or 15 pence. Well, 10 or 15 pence for a lot of people doesn't make a difference. But this one is nearly 40 pence dearer than down there. And if you've got a 50 kilowatt hour battery, uh, 40 pence per kilowatt hour uh, times 50, that's 20 quid. It will cost you 20 pound more to charge here than it will down at the Walton Summit open to all um, uh, Tesla supercharger with the V4s, which are 
no membership, no, no app, just contactless. So this is the wall that's going on in the background. It is, it's a quiet wall. Gridserve on tomorrow, just gonna drop prices and match Tesla. That's not gonna happen. Uh, but we've seen Instavault, for example, 85 pence, absolutely extortionate, but they've now brought in an off-peak rate. So overnight, you can get a much more sensible rate. Uh, we've seen others like Osprey offer something. Uh, there was a small summer incentive to try and uh, encourage people to use the uh, we've seen others like EV on the move, and there's one just down the road at Rivington, uh, and they're charging out at 65 pence. And I'm sure that's not because that's what they'd like to, to charge. I'm sure that's because they have worked out that that is the competitive rate that will get people in there to charge and not use the Tesla superchargers open to all either side of them. So there is a revolution, there is a price war going on. It's ever so slow, it's ever so lethargic. It is happening, but over a period of time, you're gonna start seeing bigger results. And that period of time is getting shorter. All of these companies like GridServe, Osprey, and all the rest, they are now funded by investment banks, investment funds, pension funds. Uh, and these are investing the, uh, the investors' money into EV charging because they saw it as a really good return on their investment. What's happening now is these are not being used to anything like the degree they anticipated, nor are they able to get the full price. If GridServe, that a 10% discount, it's now dropped to 5%, but they're having to discount. So the, uh, the return that these investment funds are getting from these uh, big investments that they made, uh, GridServe, for example, half a billion came from British investors, uh, investment funds, green funds and the like. And they're not getting the return they want. Now, at a certain point and in the investment world, uh, it's fairly quick. If your return goes down to almost zero, you pull your money out. You get out while your money's still safe and while the going's good. So these are gonna be under a lot of pressure and that pressure will be building over the coming months. So we're going to start seeing prices coming down. One other really nice thing, and this is uh, gonna help everyone, is that there's a petition just gone through to the Chancellor of the Exchequer, Exchequer uh, Rachel Reeves, uh, and that one has asked for these to be charged VAT on the electricity they use at 5%, exactly the same as home charges. Uh, and if they can get that, that's gonna be a big chunk of money was gonna come off these. Haven't worked out the exact figure, but it's quite a, a, a nice sizable chunk. So there's a lot happening in the background and it's all gonna affect, and this is the reason. There are 12 charges here. This is the main M6 from England into Scotland. Um, this is not busy. And yet when we go to uh, Tesla supercharge, we were at Burton Wood recently, eight charges there, constantly full or very, very close to full. Uh, we go to others, constant turnover of cars. Here, it's really quiet and that's such a shame, but really it comes down to the business model that they opened up. They made assumptions about Tesla not opening up and about the price they would charge if they opened up those assumptions are wrong. Oh, well, we heard that before. Yeah, the EV world buying new cars. They assumed that they could charge a really hefty premium with the ICE cars that have a battery and electric motor in them. They've come down to earth with a bump and they've realized you can't rip off the public. The public just go elsewhere. So that's it for now. Constant background noise is horrible. Constant smell of uh, exhaust fumes, diesel. These are not pleasant environments. For now, thanks very much for watching. Uh, I'm Dave, and if you've liked this video, please click the like button, it does make a difference. If you'd like to see more of our videos, please subscribe. Subscribing has a huge impact on a small channel like ours. So we do ask you, if you do like our videos and you do watch them regularly, please click that subscribe button, costs you nothing. If you wanna meet me face to face, you can buy me a coffee. We do reveal to our Patreon members where we will be filming in advance on certain days. And people are quite welcome to come and chat with me, to be in the film. If you've got an interesting car, we'll film that. There's real benefits now to supporting the channel as a Patreon member. So details of that are down below. I'm Dave.